Hey everybody, Dr. Ori Quinn here at Ozark Holistic Center. And yeah, thank you everybody for jumping on and watching us live. Hopefully uh, this week, at least we got it going live to the right page. Um, uh, yeah. So give everybody just a moment to uh, jump on that might wanna watch it. Um, this actually video, just to kind of show you how some of this works, we always ask people like, hey, could you, you know, do you have a, a topic or a theme or something you might wanna actually talk about today or have us talk about? And actually, in this case, um, we actually got a message earlier today uh, from somebody asking about jaw stuff. They uh, had gone through like a, a long phase, uh, like they said, several hours being in the chair, getting a root canal, um, which, right, you're often under for that or not aware, but your jaw is left open for several hours at a time. And, um, and after, after that process, a lot of times a lot of these jaw muscles and stuff just like really, really tighten up. And so usually what you're left is they say, hey, just like chill, maybe they'll give you muscle relaxants, maybe they'll actually give you painkillers, different things uh, to try to get them to calm down. And they have you just like wait it out, maybe put ice on it. And so there's actually a really rather kind of simple process that you can go through to try to get some of these to release because sometimes they need actual uh, specific stimulation to get them to release. Um, and you'll actually feel it. The stuff will be really quite painful. Um, and so these are the, the, the main muscle groups. So I'm going to go over the main muscle groups of the jaw because this is what you're going to actually want to work to try to get that jaw to like calm down um, and not be so tense. And this actually works. I mean, I gave one example because that was the individual that messaged us earlier today. But people that like that grind their teeth a lot at night, people that um, like especially if you have like a, a real good like pop or click when you open your jaw. Um, going through this process can kind of sometimes help with that like rebalancing of the muscles and create the right tension in the jaw uh, to help calm that down or even sometimes eliminate that. And again, we're gonna go over the main like three muscles. Uh, there's several other ones that are kind of smaller and so sometimes you gotta get a little bit more detailed in there, but for the most part, this, this will kind of cover it. And so um, I'm hoping this will work. Uh, I'm gonna kind of show you again on my own like, like face and jawline and stuff and like where you're gonna actually be like putting pressure and like holding. Um, but I did want to actually show you guys a picture if it's possible. So I'm going to kind of hold up a picture here. This is just kind of a gross, um, like anatomy book. Um, this is like kind of standard book used across, uh, all the kind of medical professions, but I'm going to throw this picture up here. This is the side of your cranium right here. Right. And so, uh, just to kind of show you, uh, this, the eye socket right here, and this is again, a side view, but this, this bone right here, right across called the zygomatic process proves to be really important in this process. And that's actually what you'll actually feel um, if you actually run your finger from like your ear over out towards your eye socket. You come from underneath and you can actually come up and like feel that like bone structure. You'll feel like this like hard point right there, right there. And if you come from the top, you can catch it. From the top it feels bonier because you actually have bone like, like all the way through down to that. It just kind of ridges out right there. And you can actually feel that. Some people you can actually visibly even see that bone structure. In them and so the first one we're actually gonna look at is this one right here called the temporalis muscle um, and so it actually comes in and connects right there to the top of that zygomatic arch um, and you're gonna catch so for the most part when we work on muscles we're looking at where they actually start and then where they uh, where they connect to so every muscle crosses um, and, and a, a joint so its purpose is to move a joint and so it attaches from one bone structure to another bone structure and so you're looking at uh, where those bone structures are. So uh, again, so this one here, we're gonna look at the top of that zygomatic arch right across the top. Once you find it, again, you can just slide down into that. So what you're looking for is for like um, uh, points of tension, pressure pressure points. Uh, a lot of times people will call them pressure points. So usually this isn't like overly comfortable, but as you actually move across that, like if you find a spot that seems to be really much more particularly painful, then that's what you're gonna hold and kind of just the pressure is just like firm and just kind of move it back and forth and you will kind of feel it release out. And even if you don't feel it like totally release out, it's actually okay. Just actually the stimu like stimulating these points will help in this process. What we're actually looking at, what this has more to do with is um, muscle uh, length and that the muscles actually have these little sensors in them that tell the brain uh, like how, uh, how long they should be or how tight they should be. And so when it's been left in one position uh, for way too long, or again, when people at night, when they like clench their teeth, it's actually in the shortened position. So they're doing this all night long. When you leave it there for long periods of time, it actually affects those like sensors and the signal being taught to the brain. And so what happens is the brain starts to actually accept those as normal. And the shortened position or the elongated position is where the brain is actually telling it to be. It's telling it to stay there. And so this process, 
whether you feel it totally release out or not will actually help with the, that actually releasing. So again, temporalis muscle across the top of the zygomatic arch right through there. Um, that's what you're gonna be feeling. For the majority, that's back here, further back as you come up here, catch that. If you feel it firm, just release that out. The upper part of that one, this one's a little bit kind of maybe harder to find. So it actually does run, as you saw in that picture, right through here. It kind of spans through that like hairline right through there. There is an actual ridge there that you can find or feel. Um, uh, if you're really kind of good at catching that, it's like we'll actually notice this is technically where right below where these two bone structures come together. But so really you can kind of just start by actually just feeling. And so again, same idea. If you find anything in there that's just like really painful, then you're gonna actually wanna release it out. As you go through that process, kind of fan around right through here. Again, if you catch it, like I got one right there, you just kind of hold, release back and forth. Just slightly there, and you will actually feel that kind of release out. And and you and in all honesty, you'll actually feel even kind of just like tension in the whole body release out. The jaw is super crucial. It's very, very crucial to the way the uh, uh, the for the actually the whole spinal column and, and, and so much tension and stuff is actually started and gained like right here. So again, top of it, that's the top of that muscle. It fans out right through there. That's the back, the, the other side of that muscle. So you're looking for anything right through there to release out. Next one, I'm gonna pop that picture back up. Um, uh, we're gonna be looking at the, uh, is actually a muscle that runs. I'm gonna pop this picture right back up here. So this one actually is the second one, kind of the major um, muscles there. So again, this one is actually gonna connect to the bottom, the bottom of that zygomatic arch that I was pointing to. Um, and it's mostly back here. If you actually do feel that too far, as you can see that it will actually drop down and around the bottom of the eye socket. So you're really trying to feel right back in here. Um, this one's usually really common. You'll find something there. Um, and if you do, you're gonna catch again and release out. That's the idea of that, to be able to get that to actually release. And your pressure again, doesn't have to be real hard. Um, you know, um, when we're working on people and we're kind of, no more what we're doing and what we're exactly aiming for, we can, you know, sometimes if we need to push a lot harder. But actually in this case here, and actually it works for even this one too, um, here, uh, catch that pressure and maybe back and forth. You can kind of open the jaw, close the jaw a little bit, let it release out. This is actually gonna run all the way down to the bottom of the jawline here. So the other, other part there is actually gonna be the very base of the jawline. So as you're gonna run pretty much starting from the back of the jaw, a little bit forward. If you do find anything in there, you're gonna catch it and like, uh, release it out. Like I've actually even seen that right there. Oh man, super awesome. These always uh, feel like, yeah, they usually hurt. It's a little painful to like do this, uh, release out through there. Again, if you feel real close, you can actually feel where that uh, muscle actually ends. It's usually about halfway through that, through the cheek. As you're sliding down, you will actually feel like a slight ridge. If you catch that, then you realize, okay, that's where it, it kind of ends. So the bulk of that's there. Again, so we're catching um, where it starts, where it ends, right through there. Release that out. The last the last one, um, which is a little bit, um, this is actually like an in, inside the jaw uh, one. And sometimes you will see this. I know um, we in here uh, will, if we really, really need to work this uh, muscle out, uh, we'll actually put like a glove on and actually come inside the muscle or inside the jaw. You can kind of catch it from the outside. Um, and so that's what actually I'm gonna show you here as opposed to trying to show you how to get in, but you can actually catch it from the outside. Um, so the, the key here is you're actually gonna have to go into like the flesh of the cheek a little bit. Uh, you have to open that jaw just slightly uh, and you're gonna be pushing straight back, all right, like that. And, and a lot of this isn't exactly, a, again, you're not totally gant, but as you do that, usually that's actually quite painful and you're gonna hold that. That's more of a hold. This one, as you push pressure in, it's actually just like an open and slow, open and slow release of the jaw. And even if you can't move it much, because I know the individual I was talking to today, like he's like, it's really locked up, right? So he's kind of stuck. And you can even move it just a little bit, like a little open, a little close with that pressure in. The pressure should be enough that you actually do feel it back in there and you're gonna realize like it's it's not comfortable uh, for sure as you hold that slight open, slight close. Sometimes with this even, because I, I can actually feel it right now. Um, there's also, um, you'll actually get the ear to drain sometimes with doing things like this, or at least feel kind of movement in the ear. And that's totally normal. Um, actually your eustachian tube, which is part of the drainage of the, of the ear, um, actually drops back into the back of the mouth um, back here. And so when you're actually putting pressure in here, we're actually working on that too. Technically it'll help kind of open that up. It sounds really gross, but if you've ever, you know, if you're ever sick and you got sinus stuff and you like, like cough and you like kind of into the mouth and you get something, stuff like actually coming in the mouth, a lot of that is actually the drainage out of that, that eustachian tube, that ear canal right there.
that drops into the back of the mouth. Um, so that, yeah, so there we go. So those are the three main like muscles of the jaw and, and the way that you actually can kind of work, hold those, release them out, find those spots, release them out. Um, you're going to want to do it both sides. Uh, and, and in general, um, like I, actually this is a, a neat little routine. Again, especially people like clinch or people that feel like they feel a lot of tension, even people that feel a lot of tension in their neck. Actually, a lot of times the neck tension actually comes from the jaw. People don't realize that, but it will actually come from the jaw. So to actually go through this process helps. If you have like an immediate problem like this, like in this gentleman today where his jaw is, can't open all the way, then you should actually be able to see some pretty quick results. You know, you do this once or twice a day, go through this whole process, you know, hit these points for five to 10 seconds a piece, right? Seven, eight, nine, 10, move on to the next one. Um, I would say after doing that just a couple times, you should start seeing this open up and release out. This actually is a great activity too, or, or exercise. We'll have people do this uh, for people that are jaw, like are, are clenchers at night. They're like, oh, I'm just so tight, so tight. Um, sometimes you just have to like reset that. Like you gotta get it to loosen up. Like you gotta, if you're, if you're always super tight, then we have to kind of combat that and encourage a way to keep it, to keep it looser. And if you do that, then sometimes you can actually see that switch over. Um, and, uh, and it's actually not a bad idea to do actually in a laying down position in that case. If you are a clencher, because that's where you're sleeping, that's where you are at night. So actually lay down and get into that same position and go through it and sometimes release the tension out like the way that it needs to release out. Um, I'm trying to think about other ways that we sometimes use this. We do something kind of similar um, uh, with uh, people that like, for example, uh, not only seasonal allergies, but snoring. Um, people that snore, uh, the, the snoring gets a little bit more comprehensive. So you're gonna be looking at the jaw, but then you're also gonna be looking at the palate really heavy. And so we have some releases on the palate as well that we do, but we will be going through that same release mechanism. So I'd say that's probably about maybe as much as 50% of it is releasing out the jaw. So always a good thing to actually try to, if you're willing to like dig in there, go through that process, release that out. So cool. Thank you everybody for uh, joining in. Um, and thank you so much for the question that came our way. Like this is an example. Uh, we love to answer questions and give, you know, more than willing to kind of give this, these like information like this out, kind of show people what they can do. Uh, find see if they can find answers home. Um, if we have any questions, um, you know, please send them our way. Um, but we actually, I guess, we'll kind of, kind of wind down. Another really key component of this um, is uh, that can help as well. Let me actually throw that in there. I always like to throw the nutritional stuff in there as well because that's another big thing that we do. So I like teas a lot, like herbal teas. Uh, so any of your teas that calm people down, like your chamomile teal tea, can like help in this process as well. So chamomile. Again, it's just really to kind of relax. It's, it's kind of a natural muscle relaxant in a way. Um, and then you're also looking at minerals. So like your magnesium, potassium, um, particularly magnesium and potassium in this case, uh, also help calm uh, tight and tense muscles. And so taking magnesium potassium as well can help with this. Uh, let me, before I close out here, let me, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna move the camera a little bit. Let me shoot over here. I'm doing that one of those funny things. Make sure there's not any questions that have come in. I, I can't see it super well here on the, on the camera because um, I'd love to answer any if there are any. I'm um, talking about jaw and what causes people's jaw problems, so, and ways to actually release them out. So here we go. Let's see if there's any questions coming in. And if not, then we will call it done. So I'll see any questions coming up there. So thank you guys um, so much for joining us. In, joining us like, I, like we do this uh, each Thursday. Like the gentleman today, if there is a question that comes in and you guys want to know about something in particular uh, and you want to, gosh, is it okay? Anything in particular, just like we did today with the jaw thing, um, uh, you know, we have released things for all kinds of stuff and we'll actually kind of be showing that in different videos that we do. But, um, you know, you got elbow points, wrist points, back points, um, and that's just on the, um, the release points. If we have a specific kind of idea or thought, it like kind of helps us focus in a little bit more on, on where to go. But So thank you everybody for joining us tonight for this like Facebook Live. Uh, we'll get, like I said, we'll be back again next week. Um, and we will, oh wait, wait, I guess the last thing I was gonna say, thank you again. Uh, we kind of posted a video about this as well. I want to say this, thank you again everybody for the happy birthday wishes. Uh, Tedley, it is my birthday tomorrow. Um, <laughs> And, uh, and so it's been really neat to get all that like feedback in and to see people's responses to that. And so uh, hopefully I'll maybe post a picture or so of what we'll be doing um, tomorrow for the our, like, birthday thing. But 
Um, thank you guys, everybody, uh, for joining us so much for being a part of this. We hope to uh, be able to continue to provide good information for you guys about health and how to help yourself and, and go through this process. So we'll see you.